If you fail to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Yeah. Sing Squad, welcome to another Thomas Sing Vlogs. Yo, I'm here with my boy James. Hey, what's up? Guys, <laughs> so we're, back. we're doing a little bit of a different one today. If you guys saw on my Instagram, at Thomas Singh, you'd see that I put out a little bit of a poll to try and help you guys, um, anyone in 2018 that wants to start a vlogging channel or just a general YouTube video. Now, we're almost coming up to about 100 days of vlogs, not in a row, but 100 vlogs total, which is quite huge. That's so much, you know, so much videos we've made, so much editing, hours that we've put in, so we thought we'd give a bit of help and advice to you guys. Now, we're gonna go over 10 facts that we've learned through these hundreds of videos, not including all the crack up skits that we've done, um, to try and help you guys. So, without further ado, let's just get straight into it, eh? Number one, if you're going to become a vlogger, and your YouTube channel, you gotta, you're gonna have to have a specific niche that you wanna go after. So there's, for girls, most of them go with hair and beauty. Uh, for guys, they go with things that are about around sports. Now our channel is... Everything? It is everything. <laughs> so we went out the one, which is the hardest one to do, because it's not really a niche, but if you do nail it, it pretty much brings the greatest rewards. Where anything you do, you're sort of, you know, making a living of doing your dream and you're bringing other people to watch entertaining stuff you do every day. You're not limited to, oh, he only does gaming videos or he only does sports videos so we're not going to watch him when he does this type of video, you know? We do all sorts of videos and try and keep them all entertaining as possible, if that makes sense. So when you go out and start your YouTube channel, the easiest option is to pick a niche and just get started. Now write it down, pick two or three things and get other people's advice. You know, your parents, your friends from school, brothers, sisters, and they will probably know which one is your strongest attribute, sometimes better than you. And it's always good to get other people's advice. So before you start a YouTube channel, some people might be like, you're really good at making jokes on the spot, you should just be an entertaining vlogger, or you're pretty good at rugby, you should do things around sports and other things like that, you know? And you think about your life and what you have things planned throughout the next few months. You're like, I'm going to be attending a lot of these type of things. Like, I go to uni and I, I do acting class. I should be vlogging about becoming an actor. If you're a student, you, you might be studying law, you might be studying being a graphics designer. You take, you, you take your audience behind the curtain and you get that niche of people studying the same thing as you and a lot of them will watch it, you know? So just think of what your life actually revolves around and you could, you could find a good topic from that, all right? And obviously, everyone says this, every motivational person is just stuck. That's good and all, but you know, if you fail to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Yeah, you've heard that, eh? I heard it now. Oh, you heard it now, here first on TSB Exclusive. No, but if you fail to prepare, you are preparing to fail. So always have a set plan, but no matter what, set a guideline of when you want to start. Right now is... I should just sneeze eh? I think I'm about to too. Go on. Right now is near the middle of March. You could be like, hmm, come 1st of April, April Fool's Day, I'm gonna start my first YouTube channel. All right, that might be it. Number two, as most vloggers say, is equipment. So you do need a camera, you do need editing software, and you do need a computer or laptop to do these things. Now for camera, most people have this thought in their head that to become a vlogger you need a fancy camera, you need all these things. That does help, trust me, because there's so much autofocus issues, lighting, especially for me. But um, you just need, most people's phones literally can can handle it because when you export to YouTube, YouTube uploads at nearly 1080p anyway, so people don't really know the difference. So some people use that as an excuse, they haven't got a good enough camera, so that holds them back. And they think past it and 365 days later, they could be like, oh, you know, I, I should have just started then, you know? So that's not an excuse. Editing software. Now, James does a lot of the editing on the videos, guys, and he uses. Basically, we will use Adobe. It's the best and easiest uh, editing software that you can find. There are other things like Sony Vegas, uh, Final Cut. Yeah. But I find that majority of content creators will use Adobe. It's much more user friendly. 
Premiere Pro, it's that purple one, screen. And now your, so your YouTube channel, it's gonna be vlogs, or it's gonna be skits, it's gonna be videos regardless. You want to, if you're gonna be doing this consistently, you need to come up with a scheduling time frame. How often are you going to upload? Now everyone here should know that we're the only YouTubers to upload every single day in New Zealand. So we have committed to that, and we try and get the videos up at around 7 p.m. New Zealand time. Try, you know. Uh, um, so you guys choose your scheduling and tell your fans that so they know when to return. You know, it makes life a lot easier, especially when you've got other people that you spend time with, you know, your friends, your family, they know, oh, th you know, they need to get their video up at this time. So it makes things a lot easier living your life outside of this, the social space. Make sense? Tip number five is, this is what everyone in the world needs. A famous quote by the GOAT, Arnold Schwarzenegger. There is no such thing as a self-made man. Now, everyone needs help out there, and that is what I'm the tip number five is. To make a successful channel grow, and you want a lot of followers, you're going to need help. Now, help could be in the t terms of, you know, if you're vlogging, you might be low on content. So that's why you start bringing your camera out to more social events where your friends are, where a lot more funny things are happening, where you, you know those, those situations where you might be with your friends and it's so funny and stuff's going on that's really exciting and you wish other people could see it, but no one's recording it? That is why you have your camera on you. So when you're stuck for content, you just throw your friends in the mix. That's what David Dobrik does, but uh, yeah, it's worked for him. Um, and the other thing is collaborating, so other YouTubers. Now in New Zealand it's kind of difficult because there's only literally, I think, like 10 like that really go hard on YouTube. In America and Australia there's, there's hundreds, okay? Now New Zealand's quite difficult, but that's still no excuse. Like us, we're trying to motivate a lot more people to start their own YouTube channel so it can grow and be better for everyone, cool? So reaching out to people through Instagram DMs is the best way. You can search them in the top search bar vlogger hashtag, vlogger NZ hashtag, or you know, makeup, hairstyle, whatever vlogger, video creator you are, and I'll come up with everyone else that's used the hashtag and then you DM them. Number six, this is sort of an easy one. Um, if you are going to become a vlogger on YouTube, you cannot forget about the other social media platforms. So that's Snapchat, that's Instagram, that's Twitter, and Facebook. Did I say Facebook? Snapchat, YouTube, Facebook. Yeah, and Facebook. So those are the ways where you can direct more traffic to people outside because people might not have a YouTube login, but they might have a Facebook profile, because everyone does. And that's how they know, oh wow, I saw Tom upload a video, and they click it through that. So always, don't forget about your other social media channels, they are equally as important. Number seven, as I said earlier before, planning. So planning down your ideas, everyone has a phone on them nearly at all times. When an idea comes to mind, go into a set notes that you've got reserved and just type it in. I'm doing this constantly, if you're too lazy to type, just use voice memo, you know? Oh, remember to subscribe to Thomas Singh Vlogs. You know, little reminders like that. Uh, so that's the easiest thing to do guys, plan, have a, have a separate book and write down ideas, write down yeah, anything you want, it's just good for the memory. Number eight, as with everything that people want to become successful in, you want to study the competition. So as I said, in New Zealand we don't have much, but so we take our inspiration and learning from people in America, the big YouTubers, right? And we take away the good points of what they've done, not the bad things, and we implement it into our own videos. So watching other video creators that make similar videos to you is always good. But do not, out of whatever you do, don't watch them all the time and just sit on their videos and not make your own because that is what people get into a bad habit of doing they just sit and they just keep waiting for these people to motivate them and motivate them and just, it, they just don't even do they don't make their own videos <laughs> they just sit there rotting on other people's videos so it's a bad habit that human beings do don't do that okay number nine obviously when you're starting anything new that might be completely outside your persona a lot of your friends and family might not know right now that you have been thinking about creating a youtube channel and all of a sudden you're going to tell them you're creating a YouTube channel. So they're going to have a lot of doubt. A lot of people that know you are going to be like hating on it just because maybe they wanted to. And then all of a sudden you're doing it before them. So many other reasons. But at the end of the day, in 20 years time, it's not going to matter. You know, this is something that makes you happy. Surely they'll, they'll just come, come around to it. And there's so much things out there. You guys know the motivational quotes. Don't let other people bring you down. We've even got Shia. Shia, what do you do? Just 
Do it! Yeah, see? That's... Thanks for that, Shia. So just like Shia LaBeouf said it, guys, don't let your dreams be dreams. If this is what you wanted to do, start doing it now. And hey, Will Smith said it best, start failing as fast as you can because once you fail, you can only get better and better and better. In a year's time, if you're watching this video and you're like, yeah, I remember when times did that, I wish I should have started then. Just start, you know? As I said in the first step. Last, but definitely not least, and ultimately could be the most important step out of the top 10 is to appreciate the fans regardless of how small or large they are always put them first whether it comes to replying to the messages whether it comes to giving shout outs where when it's due when it comes to doing giveaways when you can just showing love back to them because at the end of the day if it wasn't for them you couldn't be doing what you were doing right it would be pointless so, those are the top 10 facts there guys. If you wanted to recap, just, you know, replay this video. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much us done guys. If you want to see more videos like this, we'll probably do another one again when the channel grows. We're currently almost sitting at 3,000 subscribers, which is quite good. So make sure you smash that subscribe button. Give this video a like if you've learned anything at all. Make sure you follow us on our Instagrams. You got James's one here as well. Yeah, James Lee Grice. Cool, and that's pretty much us done, guys. We will see you guys tomorrow. See ya. Don't let your dreams be dreams.